so two things three things actually whenever i talk about aragalia from the very first day it started to today nothing has changed number one i like the idea of aragalia because there were so many things politically we have to change in mm. this country and that we have just before this everyone came to aragalia had buriyani and had uh, <laughs> their parties there we have been fighting this from the university time kojum to change this political narrative mm. we have been part of this aragalia for a very long time <laughs> and we didn't have any one support for that lehini knows when we want to do a panel discussion or forum with young people young politicians how difficult was it is for us to find young people who were actually wanted to do politics you know we had that struggle so i am so happy today this country has become a very politically conscious country today if you talk to 10 young people nine knows mm-hmm. what is happening politically they are politically aware they are politically conscious if you organize a political forum we do that a lot as next gen sl we are all the the young politicians from all the parties come to the, today we have a massive audience and people who have even fought with each other mm-hmm. we have sat together i have fought with patum karna patum karna has advocated uh, uh, so much of uh, uh, what to call violence during the aragale but i have sat with him i have eaten i have had dinner with him we have done the political conversations but you didn't now. agree with the aragale and how they got rid of the president is that not that all i agree with the, the so that, do you that, that, believe that, that gotabaya rajapaksa should have resigned before it came to that no not at all you That's don't that, think no you should not in any country any part of the democracy protests happen people revolt against the governments people criticize the the ongoing political mandate so you change that not the president not the people you elected you don't the people you elected a... you change during the next election but then you push governments you push politicians to change the policies to change the the political narrative and this is a massive damage we did i am telling you Ujum, if we all accept how gotabe rajapaksha was sent out i am telling you even when lehini become the president of this country one day she will not be able to run this country then another 10000 will come to the road and uh, got into her house and send her so i think it's a good option to bring lehini in what do you think lehini because uh, what he's saying essentially is that the that the aragaleas um while the aragaleas positions he agrees with how it operated was undemocratic and that he doesn't think that gotab rajpaksa should have resigned despite the pressure from virtually all parts of the country so could you come back on that so there are different things in the aragalia you can talk about the aragalia the narrative there which was the which is the positive narrative the the unity everybody coming together the harmony part then towards the end of the aragalia the, how the aragalia was hijacked by certain political parties and you know tried to create the whole narrative uh, saying you know let's reject all select us because we are the different burn the constitution so burn the constitution burn the parliament burn the parliament go and hijack i i don't personally don't endorse I mean I was also one of the people who marched from Halstoff with the lawyers on that day but then I don't endorse going into the president's house and you know all that damage uh, taking over the parliament those those are Just those are not things briefly, yes I think the Aragalia would then say that those weren't Aragalia that they were just small like like how Mehinda talks about ultra nationalism and the pohotua that they are small offshoots and they don't represent the Aragalia but that was not the offshoot that but, was the but, main but, but see, see see the thing is this aragale there was nobody to give leadership to the aragale so there were different you know people people were different all different centers. power centers so you know there were certain people who manipulated the emotions of the people so at the end of the day i think you know gota be rajapaksa resigning i think uh, maybe milinda has a different opinion but then i i would say he had, he had no choice because the people at, at the end of the day didn't want him because the policy decisions that was taken by him was extremely detrimental to the country and then people did no longer wanted him to be the leader so i think you know when when if you are a leader if you know that you have been rejected it's it's duty bound and it is respectful for you to resign and go i think you know if we, we don't have that rich political culture in this country i think you know uh, we don't have a culture where politicians are accountable responsible where they make a ma- mistake i mean for example recently we saw uh, people uh, dying because of ro- because of not having medicines and wrong anesthesia has been given in such a situation the health minister should resign we don't have a culture of that nature but i think you know if the if, if the leader there knows that you are rejected no longer should you hold office so i mean it came to a situation of that sort and then gotabe rajapaksa had no other choice but to resign 
because you know he was a rejected president because people did not want him. So, I mean it, it, yes if you look at it from a democratic point of view, uh, he had two thirds mandate, twentieth amendment, enormous powers, it is quite unfortunate, but politics is what it is, if you do not deliver you have to go and it, it came to that, but that does not mean I mean that I, I do not see that that has to be the way forward. We, we should not oust every president that comes with an Aragale, because you, if you are given a mandate, the president must be given a chance to rule. And the thing is this, it is a two way thing. The decisions that the president takes must be for the benefit of the people and it must result positively. Every decision that you take cannot be to the uh, downfall of the country, but when it came to Gota Bay Rajapaks, the fertilizer issue, the tax issue, all the decisions that he made, his way of decision making, his way of communication and his you know the way he was dealing with the professionals, I mean around the people around him also started rejecting him. So, then he had no other choice and it was kind of like a standstill but for him to go. So, I mean it came to that, I mean I mean now pointless talking about the whole thing, we can go on and analyze, but I think you know uh, in a democracy, if you are democratically elected, you must give the president or the prime minister the right to rule and then people also must, elections also must be held in due time and no president uh, has the right to stall elections. One thing I want to say this, our leaders must understand that they are temporary custodians, right. they are not here forever and they are not here to manipulate the law for their survival. But what we see repeatedly in this country is uh, leaders manipulating the law. We saw the 18th amendment, we saw the 20th amendment. Now we are recently seeing another act which has been private members bill, which has been put forward uh, regarding the local councils which is dissolved that it should be Recall. reconvened. I mean this is people's mandate, you must give, it, give the people the right because the people's sovereign right is inalienable, it is mentioned in the constitution, people are the supreme power. So, politicians must understand that if you do not deliver, you have to go, you are not here forever. I mean that is the culture, I mean I believe Milind and all of us, you know when we do politics as, as young politicians, we are able to come together to one particular, particular platform, agree, disagree and if he is wrong, we will say you are wrong, but you know you have to acknowledge that fact and if I am a failure, I must go, applies to all.